Okay, hey everyone. So, I just got home from work, and to my huge surprise, like, huge, huge surprise, uh, we met the first goal in the first day. Um, thank you, everyone. Thank you so much. Um, I'm going to get a better microphone. Uh, I'm going to show the, the receipt at the end of the video. Um, and a big thank you to everyone. I really didn't think it would work out that well. And I'm going to have a better microphone to record better audio. And I really appreciate all the kind words, everyone. So um, this video, I'm going to tell you about an update about the Boron Project. I'm going to give you some huge life advice on how to not end up in debt. And then I'm going to explain uh, the raffle system, hangout sessions, and how I'm going to run this Patreon honestly, transparently, and with no greed. I'm going to explain why only one dollar and all of that. Um, so let's start. Boron. Um, with the Boron project, it ran into a slight hitch. So I promised a few people who contacted me very early to get a Boron cube prototype. There was a Mega Minx, no, a Pyraminx, and a few other cubes. Um, the problem is I ran out of this chemical called tetrahydrofuran, um, and the company we buy it from, they aren't selling it anymore. And every other company that sells it is really expensive because if you're not part of a huge company or you're part of a school, they aren't going to sell you chemicals for a cheap price. And to do the boron process, I need multiple liters of the stuff. And that's because uh, the solvent doubles as the catalyst. It activates the boron. And there are other solvents that do it, and I'm going to look into that. And if that doesn't work and I can't do it cheaply, I know that if I distill the original solution and try to retrieve some of that old t tetrahydrofuran, or THF as we call it in the chemistry business, um, I will definitely get those uh, prototypes out to you. I think there's about five or six people. Um, I'm really hoping that I can get more in time for when the GTS2 comes out. I know that MoYu is stepping up the release date. Instead of releasing in about two to three months, they're planning to release it slightly sooner, from what I've heard. Um, and this is based on, um, I know Phil talks to them, and they're releasing promotional information. So the GTS2 is going to come out in a month or two, I'd say. And I'm really, really hoping I can get more of this chemical to do the boron cubes before then. Uh, one of the options I'm looking into is buying from China. Um, the prices there are 10% of what you would pay in America um, without uh, a connection to these companies. So I'm hoping really, really hard that I can get more of this chemical so we can release boron uh, quickly for everyone. We're also going to do the Diane 2x2. Um, the interesting thing about the Diane 2x2 is the since boron is a very reactive compound, it, when it hits the screws, the screws actually turn dark. So you get the dark screws, because the original plastic die-in had black screws. Uh, the boron-treated plastic also has black screws, which is a funny coincidence there. So I'm really, really hoping to get that out for everyone. Um, so the next thing I wanted to tell you about is life advice. So I'm going to tell you how I ended up in debt. And it's really, really stupid stuff. There was three main things that just came together. The first thing I'm going to tell you is do your taxes correctly when you become an adult. I was in school and I took accounting economics in college but they don't teach you how to do your taxes in school. This is something you either need to TurboTax or something but when I filled out my W-2 I wrote a 3 instead of a 2 in one column and it was just a simple addition mistake in one column, one spot, a three instead of a two. And then I filed my taxes in February, and earlier this month I got a phone call at nine said, telling me that I owe $2,300 and it's due in April. And I'm like, how am I going to get that much money in one month? Um, it was pretty stressful because um, I was already in debt at that point, but my mom, my uncle, my family, they all got together and they pitched in and they were able to get that um, uh, handled. Um, I didn't have to get even more interest on that. And uh, that brings us into the next point. 
I'm going to teach you about interest and minimum payments. Uh, also, promotional deals on credit cards. So, I got my first credit card at 22. Um, and the concept is pretty great. If you maintain your credit, you make all of your payments, they give you little bonuses, and you pay a little interest if you don't pay it off. So if you pay it off, you get a lot of bonuses. But if you don't pay it off, some really scary stuff happens. So they have this tricky thing called minimum payment due. If you make the minimum payment, you can get by to the next month without having to pay the whole thing. But the scary thing is, if you owe like a thousand dollars, the minimum payment is like 35 or 50 bucks. And you think to yourself, well, I have, I can just make the minimum payment this month, I'll pay more next month. And the next month comes along and you're like, I'll just do this next month, next month, next month. And I was like that for about two years. And the, the, the more you do this, the more minimum payment goes up and the more interest goes up. And this interest is calculated based on how old the thing is. So if your balance is really old and it's really big, the interest gets huge. So I have a Bank of America card, I have an American Ex Express, and I have a loan. And when they ask you to get the platinum card from the gold card, it's not an upgrade. It's a separate card. And it's, it's calculated differently when you get multiple cards. When they give you these promotional things in the mail, always say no unless you're 100% certain. Never, ever, ever get multiple cards thinking, oh, this card has really good bonuses. Maybe I can do this. Or if you chase the bonuses, if you don't have the money, it's going to mess you up really, really bad. Like thousands of dollars mess you up. And if you have multiple cards, and your balance gets really high, the minimum payment starts coming up. So I have to make a minimum payment of a hundred something dollars. I also owe PayPal like 2000 bucks. You have to make a hundred bucks there, a hundred bucks to the bank, a hundred bucks to all your credit cards. And it really adds up per month. You're going to end up paying like five to $600 a month and you're building up interest. So you got to look out for the promotionals because they're going to run out, and you're going to have to pay interest on that. Interest is calculated monthly and based on the age of the thing. Like, You have to look up what APR means before you do anything. And you, you don't want to have too many cards. And it's just basic stuff that I thought I understood. But that minimum payment thing will really trick you. Never, never, ever, ever, ever make the minimum payment. You want to pay like as much as you can. Because once that balance gets high and the interest starts snowballing, you end up in a lot of trouble. Um, and uh, one of the reasons why my loans are high is because I was in school for seven years. I went to three schools, I went to graduate school, and when you're in school, the loan goes into remission. But when I was expelled from my PhD program, all of that loan becomes, you have to start making payments. And suddenly, suddenly the money has to come from somewhere. And it's pretty scary stuff if you can't pay them. Um, so yeah, kids, don't fall for those mail credit things. Like when you get credit card offers in the mail, really, you have to read the whole thing. You got to be careful. So, um, now I'm going to go through and explain the Patreon thing. Um, so I limited it to one dollar because I honestly don't think I can fairly offer things for multiple tiers. So you know how Patreon has multiple tiers and people who pay more can win more things? And I thought to myself, the raffle is fun, but if you make it so the people who pay the most win all the things, it, it's not fair. And we have to do this in a completely transparent, fair way. I'm not going to use any Patreon funds to buy personal stuff. I'm not going to buy any stuff. And the way I'm going to handle it is, 
every month I'm going to do a live video where I list all the names and then I use a random number generator to pick out the winners on video and then every thing that I'm going to do like the microphone I'm going to show a receipt and then when I make a payment I'm also going to show the receipt and I'm paying down a loan so I can't use that money to buy anything for myself so you can see where all the money is going and there's no greed no one's using this for personal gain and there's no trickery um, so my boss Phil at work uh, he's a lawyer from Georgetown like he graduated from like the 12th or 16th best law school in the country I think Georgetown is like 12 or 16 one of those and he told me that I shouldn't release my balances um, but I want to be transparent I'm gonna show you my receipts at least um, and um, another reason why I limited it to one dollar is I know that sometimes people get tempted and I'm not gonna ever tempt myself and I had no idea you could give more than one dollar so at the end of this video I'm gonna read out your names and personally thank all of you um, so um, regarding the brainstorm sessions uh, that's gonna be just for this little group I'm gonna tell you all about cool things like some some of the projects will like I'll tell you about some of the things I'm working on and maybe we can brainstorm it out and if um, if something cool happens from your idea um, we'll make sure cool stuff happens to you um, I'm gonna tell you all about some things that I'm allowed to say um, and that should be cool um, so I'm gonna release I'm gonna post all of the raffle results and things on YouTube I'm gonna post all of the things I use patreon funds so that everything is clear um, and for the prizes um, I thought to myself I can trade my personal time to make really cool prizes for all of the people who used patreon so I was thinking um, I could give away this this is like either the second or third GTSM ever made like this was one of the test prototypes and it, it was originally one of my first ever GTS's right when the GTS came out I got a teal one and then I put black shells on it and I have I have some sentimentality put into this puzzle and if you have enough faith and believe in me I'm gonna give this cube to you um, I'm also gonna raffle off the very first Volk M ever made at the cubicle um, because it means a lot to me that the community is gonna help me out so I want to make really special prizes for you. Um, some of the other prizes are if you get picked in the raffle, you're going to get to choose any 3x3 three three and we can talk about how what magnets you want and I'll even use like special unreleased fluonium, um, even other uh, experimental lubes and I'm going to ensure that you get a very special personal puzzle that is unique and also performs really well. So that's how the raffle is going to work, and I, I just can't believe I met the goal the first time. Uh, I bought the Snowball mic. I heard that's a pretty good microphone, so uh, better audio soon. Um, so let's go through my emails. Uh, Nathan Bellows, $3.50. I had no idea you could pledge more than a dollar. Thank you so much, Nathan. Um, let's go down. Felix Schleicher, $5 pledge. Thank you, Felix, for believing in me. I, I really hope I can get cool things for everyone. Um, David Miller, $5. Thank you, David. I really, really appreciate it. Um, let's go down. Oh my god. Oh my god. So, Luis Hernandez and Malt Wild, I, I hope I pronounced that right, both gave a $10 pledge this is so so much more than I was expecting and thank you so so much I really really want if I really want to give something back uh, uh, Zach Metzler two dollar pledge thank you Zach um, thank you so much when I posted this I really was expecting like 20 or 30 people and everyone else thank you so much for the one dollar pledges I I really hope I can give some really cool raffle prizes and um, maybe in the long term um, 
I'm hoping if I work hard enough at work, put in some extra hours, uh, this past weekend I worked the whole weekend, Saturday, Sunday, if, if I keep this up, I think I can eventually clear this. And here's my goal for the long-term use of the Patreon. I'm, I'm thinking, let's keep doing this raffle, where everyone can keep doing this raffle, and if I, if I pay off my debt and clear it, we can do a raffle where everyone pays in to get really, really ridiculous cool prizes, and it'll be like the cubing lottery, where we can get ridiculous, crazy prizes like magnetic 8x8 or 7x7 or like just crazy stuff and we can get even more prizes and it'll be a fun game and everyone can participate and hopefully we'll have a system where maybe people can trade or do things and we can make a really fun game out of it because really that's the whole point of speed cubing to have fun and just do more fun stuff thank you everyone big 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 thank you Thank you so much, um, and I hope to keep you updated with better audio in the future.